Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. The Asus Zenfone 7 Pro hand on. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The Asus Zenfone 7 Pro is a worthy successor to the Zenfone 6, packing even more value into an even bigger phone. Higher specs, a nicer AMOLED display with a faster refresh rate, and yes the flip camera returns, and it has another lens to boot. The comparison with the Zenfone 6 isn't the fairest one. Asus followed other brands in splitting its flagship devices between standard and pro versions, but the differences are mostly aesthetic. Compared to the pro version, the Zenfone 7 only loses out on a slightly faster chipset, a bit of RAM and storage, and OIS in its cameras. So you won't miss much by going for the cheaper model, but the premium option is available for anyone who wants a bit more. Against other flagship phones, the Zenfone 7 Pro remains competitive with a seamless 6.67-inch AMOLED front display, no notch, no punch hole, large 5000 mAh battery, and the best specs you can get at a cheaper price, cheaper price. The Zenfone 7 Pro's edge over the compacts first seen in the Asus ROG 3 phone, including the advanced LPDDR5 RAM, a faster 30W charger in the box, and the latest version of Asus's gaming software. All of which makes the Asus Zenfone 7 Pro, which is aimed at a more mainstream audience than the ROG 3, an appealing pick for consumers who want an affordable flagship. The fact that it takes better self is than the competition is just a bonus. The Zenfone 7 Pro will be really clear if and when it will be available elsewhere. Asus plans to share exact pricing for those markets next week. The phone will cost around $950 and £730. It comes in a single configuration with 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. This pricing puts it well above the cost of the standard Zenfone 7, which starts at around $750 and £570 for the 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage configuration. Given the minor differences between the two, it's a pretty big difference. The Zenfone 7 Pro will come in two colors. Aurora Black and Pastel White. No notch 6.67 inch AMOLED display, 90 Hz refresh rate rear facing camera block flips up 180 degrees to face forward fingerprint sensor and lock button on right side. The Zenfone 7 Pro isn't too different in design from the Zenfone 6 just bigger. The display is larger, the flip up camera has an additional lens, and there's even less bezel on the top and bottom chin. There are a few nods to more modern design, one of which is that the fingerprint sensor has been moved from the back of the phone and integrated within the oversized lock button mounted on the right side. Similar to other phones that have gone with button-based biometrics, like the Samsung Galaxy S10e, the Zenfone 7 Pro's large button on 7 Pro's large button has some give, but is nevertheless accurate and fast in reading fingerprints, its lower placement takes some getting used to, though. The Zenfone 7 Pro is thick, but the back tapers down to a thinner edge to make it a bit easier to handle. But the sides are so thin that they're a bit tough to grasp when the phone is laying flat, and it doesn't feel totally secure to hold, as your fingers may curve around the matte metal sides to slip on the back's glossy finish. The flip-up camera takes up an even bigger chunk of the top section of the back, but doesn't feel large or weighty. When you pop it open by switching to front-facing camera mode, you can feel gears and mechanisms spinning in the phone, but it won't jostle your grip. It's much quieter than the grinding buzz of the Zenfone 6, too, with a whirring beat that's audible but not alarming. The Zenfone 7 Pro is, however, weighty. At 230 grams, it's heavier than the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 226 grams, and most other flagship smartphones. We're guessing the camera flip motors are partially to blame, though the sizable 5000 mAh battery and thermal protections against fast charging, more on that later, more on that later, likely make up some of the bulk. But the phone doesn't look bulky, thanks in part to those slender edges, and also the sleekness of the notchless 6.67-inch AMOLED display it's bright and crisp, even if its FHD Plus resolution doesn't quite reach the WQHD Plus sharpness of the Samsung Galaxy S20 line. line. The display's 90Hz refresh rate results in a pleasantly smooth scrolling experience, whether you're browsing your social media feeds or just sifting through apps on the home screen. While it's not quite the 144Hz maximum of the Asus ROG 3 or the 120Hz caps of the Galaxy S20 series, 90Hz is a serious step up from the industry standard 60Hz, and it's especially welcome for playing games like PUBG Mobile and others that support higher refresh rates. Rear cameras that double as front-facing. Cameras can be set at positions between rear and forward facing for interesting angles, 64MP main camera, 12MP ultra-wide camera, 3x optical telephoto camera, the Zenfone 7's three cameras are the typical array of main, ultra-wide, and telephoto lenses you'll find in most flagships. 
In our very limited testing, they've been suitable enough, but we're not discounting the novelty of being able to shoot selfies with the ultra-wide lens, or even the telephoto camera, if you really wanted to. The camera block doesn't just flip up for selfie shots, it can also stop at a few intervals A good use for this is another matter. The main camera is a 64MP f1.8 shooter with OIS, while the ultra-wide is a 12MP camera that includes a respectable but not industry-leading 113-degree field of view, and the 3x optical telephoto lens maxes out at 12x digital zoom. While these aren't the most impressive cameras we've seen on phones, we're excited to test them thoroughly, especially to see what the new telephoto adds to front-facing photos. The main lens can record video up to 8K at 30fps, while the ultra-wide can capture video up to 4K at 60fps. The photo modes that take advantage of the flip camera, like the subject following motion tracking mode and auto panning panorama, return as well. Napurgan 865 plus 5G chipset, 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM, 256GB of UFS 3.1 storage 5000 mAh battery, 30W fast charger and box new battery software, like slow charging and percentage caps, to keep from depleting total capacity over time the Zenfone 7 Pro, packs a Snapdragon 865 plus 5G chipset, 8GB of LPDDR battery, which is still larger than those in almost every other phone on the market. We're eager to test how long this lasts, but we expect it to power the phone well into a second day, and it pairs well with the new faster charging. As previously mentioned, the Zenfone 7 Pro comes with a 30W charger in the box, an improvement on the 18W charger that came with the Zenfone 6. Despite the massive capacity, we saw our 7 Pro recharge to around 50% battery in just over half an hour, which is a pretty astonishing rate compared to other phones. There's no wireless charging, though. The phone did get a bit warm after fast charging with the 30W charger, and you can avoid this and prolong the lifespan of your battery by enabling a software feature inherited from the Asus ROG 3. Slow charging. Yes, you can set limits on how fast your Zenfone 7 Pro charges, as well as putting a ceiling cap on how high it will charge to, 80%, 90%, or 100%. Well that's all I have.